What's up, everybody? It's the 30s Perspective. It's been a long break, and we have missed each and every one of you guys. <laughs> we have Alicia Page, Lady Leash, B. Mike. Hey. My name is Sherelle Unique, and joining in with us, Brandon, don't you? Yeah, it's going to be Lando Ash. Yeah, Lando Ash, as soon as he logs back in, we had a little tennis difficulty with the internet. But as soon as he gets back in, we got a hip-hop artist, Lando Ash, just actually Ash. released, he just released a new single called Robert Downey Jr. It's actually pretty good. All so right. um, I, I've, uh, as a DJ, I've performed with him and played that song. So it's been, it's been fun. It's good. Dope. Oh, oh, oh. All right. So as you know, you know we haven't been on since March. Uh, it's gonna be one hour of arts and media from the millennials' mindset, and uh, let's get started. So you wanna you wanna kind of narrate today? Yeah. Go ahead. You know, I got I, I got a whole like uh, muck mukbang going on over here. With my yeah, we're gonna go ahead and uh, we're gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and narrate. Get through this. Get through this. We got some, got some topics, man. We got some topics. But as an icebreaker, I was keeping it real mellow. <laughs> uh, it was because there's, there's a new versus coming up between Big Daddy Kane and KRS One. Um, did y'all hear about that? Did y'all care I, about that? <laughs> I saw advertisement for it. Um, I I like. I'm down for all the verses. So let's just put it that way. I'm down for all the verses because I just think it's a good time, good clean fun. You get to check out uh, people doing their thing and they their catalogs. You get reminded of old music that you forgot about. And then I also heard that they're planning to do a, a comedian one. They're trying to work that out. So I'm looking forward to something like that, too. That'd be cool. Uh, I mean, I can't say I'm, I'm all for all the verses. Uh, I mean, it depends on how well they're produced and with the preparation. Like, you know, Teddy, Teddy Riley, that was all a whole disaster with Babyface. Well, he was Teddy a Riley. Riley. Right. He wanted Teddy yeah. Riley. Do it. Oh, right. He I did that. But, that's, but see, but that's the example, though. Like, you know, how the production. Was. I also wasn't big on on uh, escaping SWV. Like, they didn't do nothing. They sat there and did nothing. What you talking about? They didn't do nothing. They didn't do nothing. They were sitting there. They were trying to figure out songs on the spot. And then Escape was kind of singing, kind of, they were talking more than singing throughout the entire thing. No, uh -uh. I ended up turning it off. Yes, they were. Not at the end. They got up in second half. Was oh, lit. at the end? The second half. See, I yeah, turned it off before half was lit. I, I turned it off. I, mean, I, I should have to wait for the second half for it to be lit. Earth, Wind, and Fire no, and uh, the Osley Brothers, Earth, Wind, and Fire and Osley Brothers are in their, like, 80s, 90s, whatever. And they were lit the entire time. Hold on. I don't want to have to wait. <laughs> I mean, I, I like the jaw rule and fat Jay. I see joint. brothers at Earth, Wind, and Fire. They stood up you in what? second half, majority. They so sat in jail first half and stood up and performed second half, just like. Uh, just like no, the but they was they were singing the whole time though. Like the whole thing was great. But hey, I don't know. I, I was I just wasn't excited. I felt like SVV and, and Escape could have did a lot more. All right. I felt that they could have did. They could have brought the energy harder. And I was expecting some more, you know, some acapella stuff and and just doing a lot more. Cause like think about it when Bobby Brown and Keith Sweat reversed it. Man, they was up there performing. Performing, they're, so they're also like, I feel like with that, they haven't performed in a while, so they they were loving it. Yeah, I don't know. Those don't girls know. are bored right now. Oh, so they're bored. That that that. <laughs> no, I'm just saying. Yeah, all right. Like, to what she's saying, because those yeah. girls are on tour right now. All right. Uh, but the Big Daddy King Karis one is that like a little before our time? Is that a more Gen X? It's definitely before our time. But if you're a music head, a hip hop head, yeah. it's relevant. Yeah, um, I just think probably Big Daddy King is probably gonna come out on top only because he has more mainstream hits than Karis. 
So lyrically, KRS One is better than Big Daddy King, but King got more pockets. When is that versus? Uh, I don't know. Uh, I don't think it's this Sunday. Maybe next Sunday. Sure. <laughs> well, one thing right, any other everybody thing? did not know. Um, yeah. back then in March, that is brand new now. Uh, Lady Leash has a, a bit of an announcement to share. Do I? Yes. Do I know if you she wanted to share that or not? Do I now? What am I sharing? Or or <laughs> yeah, right. Share at least. Okay. All right. So the, the, the verses is next Sunday, October 17th, 7 o'clock. Oh, that um what that I'm with child? Yes. So congratulations. Thank you. Yeah. See what happens when you take off time from the podcast. See, now you're being funny. <laughs> <laughs> See, you take off time from the podcast, all kind of stuff happens. Right. All kind of stuff happens. She's with child, everyone. Yay. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Number two. All right. This is so. Woo, woo. Number two. So the next, the next big thing, I definitely <laughs> want to make sure that we, uh, yeah, definitely congratulations on that. That's huge. And it's going to be awesome. So that's going to be like, you're going to be like, what, December, January? Uh, February. Yeah, February? Okay. February. My math's all messed up. February. All right. I'm going to have some ice, ice skating birthday party and stuff. Ice now. skating. Ice skating, hotel, pool parties, like <laughs> all yeah, indoor hotel. activities. Right. All right. I always think about that when people are born, like what kind of birthday parties can you throw? Well, my brother's but, uh, is the day after Christmas, so like that's horrible. He's he always said to have a party like either <laughs> right before school. Yeah, like. I just think about like the, get double holidays. Presents? No, that's what I'm about to no. say. Did she get double presents or they just went to, well, your Christmas presents are your presents. Sorry. No, so what my mom used to do was just buy him a whole bunch of stuff and then would like save half of it for Christmas and the other half for his birthday. Okay. So it, it seemed like so you got half to open up on the twenty fifth, then the other half to open up on the next, next day. day. Or, you know, she just let Santa bring Santa bring the gifts on Christmas and mom brought the gifts on the birthday. Okay. All That's right. what I'm saying. Like, it's kind of sucky to have your birthday like on or near Christmas. It's like, uh, it's not the same for the presents. If you're impoverished. <laughs> well, I, just, yeah. if you're, if I don't know. If you're living a good life, it might not be that bad. It might not. Um... All right, so the next big thing is this this Dave Chappelle thing, man. What about it? So much to discuss it. 